Good morning everyone, especially to our teachers out there. Today, I will be discussing to you the PNPKI registration or the Philippine National Public Key Infrastructure using our learning management system of the Department of Education. First, we need to type this in our address bar, the karaga.lms.deped.gov.ph and you will land on this page. So we have here, welcome to the new era of learning. And to access it, there's a username and password required. But for us, as DepEd Common teachers, we'll click this one. And it will redirect you to this page. Now, there is what we called as the continue with Google account. Continue with Microsoft account, continue with Commons account. And for this one, we will be using our Google account. So we have to click this continue with Google account. Click this deped.gov.ph. So that's my email. So this will be the interface once you're successfully logged in using your deped account. Now we will be navigating site home. Click this one, site home. And under the course categories, we have professional development. So let's click this one, professional development. And there are two courses here. The virtual in-service training for public school teachers. You can see this one. But what we are going to actually access is the facility for the submission of the application requirement for the PNPKI Digital Certificate of DepEd Personnel in the Field Offices. So upon clicking this one, we will be required by an enrollment key. The enrollment key key will be given to you by your respective information technology officer. So I will be trying to access this one. Your enrollment key given to me by the ITO officer. So, and we will see if we will be enrolled. So just click enroll me if you have already inputted the enrollment key. Upon successfully logging in using your enrollment key, you will be on this interface. So for the general information, we have here the PNPKI video instruction for teachers, how to fill up your application for. If you need further information about the PNPKI, we have here. But before that one, we need to download the PNPKI form. So just click this download PNPKI form. Okay. The certificate of employment. So this is the, uh, we have just downloaded the PNPKI form. And as you can see here, we have overviews regarding the regional office. We're going to click this overview. And under overview, again, there are general information. The PNPKI here, frequently asked questions if you need clarifications, policies, resources that you can access once you are on this form. And now let's proceed. We just have to click the next session below. So next section, Surigao City. So for... For the Surigao City, we have activities to be done here. We have the PNPKI questionnaire, upload PNKI form here before the certificate of completion. But uh, this upload PNPKI form is still restricted and download certificate because we haven't finished yet the PNPKI questionnaire. But before that, uh, let's make sure that we are going to fill out the form accurately here. So the required part of the forms are bordered with red, red line. So as you can see, we have red line here. You just have to type it uh, accurately because you will be also using the information later um, within your PNPKI form. So as you can see here, we have your 
last name, first name, that's the common thing. If you have uh, information regarding here, so you should also um, input the details, office address, if you have, and then date, um, signature. So for example, we have to click here to affix a fixed photo. So you can also uh, get your photo from your save device, like on this laptop. You can, like in my documents, you can search for your photo. And we also have here the click affix signature. Okay. Since we are using the LMS, we're not uh, required anymore for these things. But if you have, you can tick the box if ever you will be also contacted for verification. And then don't don't touch this part anymore because it's for the ICT. So the, to be filled by RA office only. So you just have to fill out this these forms here, here. Uh, before you can, before you upload it on the LMS. We have activities to complete here. The first one is to answer the PNPKI questionnaire. And I just want to remind you that before you proceed this one, you need to fill out the form accurately first. You need to, your photo, your details here, details here and signature affixed here and on the last part we also need your signature here okay and then if you're done with this one let's proceed with the pnpki questionnaire the pnpi questionnaire as you can see here uh it has attempt quiz now so this activity will validate the form you've submitted. So you have to answer this quiz accurately, okay? So let's try to attempt quiz now. So basically, the the quiz here are all the, the fields that you have inputted in your PNPKI application form like this one. Okay, let's continue. Again, we need to fill out the form here. So, if you don't have a middle name, you just have to type an A. So, I already finished the quiz now. Upon clicking the uh, finish attempt, it will state here the status of your questions. If you have one question question that you did not answer, so there will also be status here that you did not answer it. And then on this part, since it's answered each question so there is a like a gray bar below here if there is an, an answered question this will be white still since i've answered all so i need to submit all and finish so let's click this one there's a confirmation prompt here once you submit you will no longer be able to change your answers for this attempt so again i Click Submit All and Finish. Next activity will be uploading the PNPKI form. Please download and fill out the PNPKI Certificate Application Form fillable. As I've said earlier, since we already downloaded the form, filled it out, in this instruction, you have need to add submission or you can just drag and drop a completed form and then click changes after to submit successfully the form. So, submit it, submission status, this attempt one, submit status, no attempt, grading status, no graded. So, we can click this one, add submission, add, add files here. Okay. 
So we can click this one to add file, upload a file, choose file, and then, and I have here my PNPK, I, I can click this one, and then there. After clicking the upload this file, so that's one option. If you want it faster, drag and drop the certificate, the filled, uh, filled out PNPKI form. So here, and then it will upload the file. And we just have to click the save changes. So upon saving changes, submitted for grading. So status not graded. So I've already uploaded the PNPKI form. Again, after you upload the PNPKI form, you cannot still immediately download the certificate of completion because it still need a approval from the designated officers. So once they approve your PNK, a PNPKI form, then this um, button here will be activated and you can download your certificate already. So that's it. If you have more questions, you can just drop your comments on the video or contact us. Thank you.